Hello everyone, I'm back with the fourth and final video in my Mario Kart Wii modding series. This video will go over the process of making custom music for all 32 tracks. For those who are making custom music for Dolphin Emulator, this video assumes you've seen the first in the series. To get started, you need to make sure that the following are downloaded. Either Brawl Crate or Brawl Box, both of them will work. Audacity, and the multi DM tool. For those who are also on Dolphin, WIMS, SES Tools, and Pasha BRSAR are also necessary. These files are all linked below. Please note that the six tracks that are currently on the screen require a slightly different process. If you want to go to that process, you can go to 720 in the video, and I will go over how to do these six slots. To start, you want to make sure that you have the music files that you wish to put into the game. Then, once you are sure that you have those, open them up with Audacity one at a time. So for me I'm starting with Gerudo Valley. Select the entire music file, go to effect, amplify it, and amplify it by a large amount. I normally do by about 8 times or so, so I get a nice blocky look. Now you can test the audio to make sure it sounds right, but before I do that I always go to effect and apply a limiter, and I apply a limiter of zero. The reason for this is it prevents a staticky noise later on in Mario Kart Wii. Now listen. As you could hear, it still sounded good, so now it is ready to export. Export it as a WAV file, and give it a clear name that you are going to be able to recognize later. So for me, I'm doing Gerudo Valley Default. That default is an important suffix because it'll help distinguish it from a future version that we're about to make right now. I undid the limiter tool right there, and then I am now changing the tempo by 10%. If you wanted, you could also change the speed or the pitch, but I personally prefer to just change the tempo. Then I'm going to apply a new limiter tool. And then once again. I listen to it and it sounds good. Export this one as a WAV, and this time use the same naming except instead of default, put final. Once again, this is going to help distinguish later on down the line. With this done, you can go ahead and close Audacity and you don't need to worry about saving your project. Then open up Brawl Crate or Brawl Box. They will work equally well, though Brawl Crate is the newer version, which is why it's the one I am using in this video. Make a new BRSTM audio stream and open up the default music track that you saved. Listen to make sure it sounds fine. With it sounding good, you can go ahead and create loop points. So I'm going to cut ahead to once I have those. Now that I've filled in the start and end loop values, I'm going to do one last test. And since that test sounded good, I am ready to finish. I make sure that loop box is still enabled and then hit OK. And it'll take a moment to encode. Now that it's encoded, do File, Save As, and choose the name that you want, so I'm keeping the same naming scheme from before. Make sure that you have the start and end loop values written down for this final lap version. Once you've opened up the final lap version, you want to fill in the start and end loop values once again. Using the values that you have written down, divide them by 1.1 for a 10% change, 1.15 for a 15% change, etc. Alright, now putting those values in. I can see that the loop once again was a clean loop, so I can hit OK. Finally, I hit File, Save As, and then save it with the same naming scheme. With both of those files exported, go to Mario Kart Wii File Names and find the exact information you needed for the music slot that you're trying to port to. Since I'm trying to port to the slot on GCN Waluigi Stadium, I went and tracked down Waluigi Stadium's file information, and I copied the text. Then, taking that copied text, I put it over the default one first and pasted it as is. Then, I pasted it over the final lap and changed the end to an F to signify that it was for the final lap. Alright, for those of you who are on CTGP, you're now done. You can put that into the My Stuff folder. But for those of us who are using Dolphin Emulator, there's a bit more work that needs to be done. Go into the Mario Kart Wii folder that you have, and if you don't have one, re-extract your ISO file. 
Now open up the folder, go to Files, then go to Sound, then go to STRM. This is the location that you'll put your BRSTM files. So take both the BRSTMs that you have and copy and paste them to ensure you always have access to the originals in the event of corruption. For Dolphin Emulator, you need to adjust Revelcart BRSAR to ensure that your songs are looping correctly. So open Patch That BRSAR and drag Revocart onto Patch That BRSAR. If it works successfully, it'll tell you that it patched 111 entries and then you'll be done. Now, final step for you to do on Dolphin is to open up your PowerShell window, do a wit, copy, the folder name, and the new ISO files name that you want. So, I'm going to do that and then I'm going to cut ahead to me in Dolphin Emulator. As you can plainly hear, the music has been successfully ported over. However, it is a smidge quiet, so I will show you a final easy step you could do to help fix this problem with very little effort. To do this little fix, open Files, then Sound, and then the Revel Cart. In Revel Cart, open the STRM folder, then N for one of the Wii Nitro tracks, or R for one of the retro tracks from another game. Then open the correct folder, depending on what game your track is on. Since mine was in GameCube, I opened the Stadium track for Waluigi Stadium, and then I changed the volume to 255, the highest value that it can take. Doing this will help raise the volume within the game without much effort. Make sure to save the file, and then, as per usual, create a new ISO file and ensure that it worked. As you can hear, the volume is now a little bit louder, making it easier to hear. That wraps up the tutorial for the main 26 tracks music slots. For those who are trying to do the last 6 slots, I will now get into how to do those. So just like with the normal music slots, you're going to want to open up Audacity. Within Audacity, you're going to want to open up the music file you want it to modify, select all of it, and amplify it. Then, once you have amplified it, you're going to want to add a limiter of 0. Now with this, you're going to want to split the stereo to mono and create two channels. Now that you have two channels, control A, control C, control V to copy and paste it until you have the correct number of channels, which is four for Dry Dry Ruins and has different values for the different tracks, which are all listed on the screen. Then you're going to want to export multiple. Go ahead and choose the file location to export to, and if you want, you can make a new folder to stay more organized as the number of channels is the same as the number of exported files that you will have. Make sure it's in WAV format when you're exporting. Also ensure that they successfully exported all the files. Then, once again, use Ctrl+A a to select all of the music files and then effect and change the tempo or change the speed depending on preference. You can export it right now if you would like, but I personally always make sure to add a new limiter onto it. Just like last time, go to File, Export, Export Multiple, and then make a new folder to stay more organized, and give it a same file naming scheme so you understand what it is for, and export it as WAV format. With those all successfully exported, now you're going to want to open up the folder that contains the exported music tracks. You're going to want to go and rename them 1, 2, 3, and 4 respectively. Once each of the music files have been renamed, you're going to want to open up Brawl Crate or Brawl Box just to get some good loop points. So you're going to want to open up the first of the audio tracks and you get good start and end values. I've gone ahead and already gotten my start and end values and with this I'm now going to write these numbers down and then once they're written down I'm actually going to close Brawl Crate without saving. Now I'm going to open up the folder with the multi-BRSTM tool and open the WAV folder and I'm going to copy and paste 1, 2, 3, and 4 into it. Then I'm going to open up the batchgui.exe, make sure that it's set to 4 channels, click the loop box, and then put in my values. With these values in, I set the file name to be default and then build the batch file. I'll then close this and then I will open build.bat 
It'll take a moment to load, but once it finishes, there'll be a complete VRSTM file. This completed version is going to be in the output folder. You're then going to once again do the same steps to do the final app version. To reiterate, you're going to want to open up the final app folder, rename them 1, 2, 3, and 4, select all of them, copy and paste them into the WAV folder in the multi BRSTM tool, then open up the batch, set it to 4 channels, and create the loop points. You can use the same strategy as before of dividing the numbers that you had written down by 1.1 for a 10% change, 1.15 for a 15%, and so on. This time around, change the name to final instead of default, and then build the batch file. With the batch file built, use the build.bat file once again and wait for it to finish. Open up your output folder and now give these tracks their proper names. So go to the Mario Kart Wii file names and scroll down until you find the track that you're looking for and copy and paste the information onto the file. Don't forget to put an F on the one with the final app. With these now renamed, you can put them into their correct location, which will be my stuff for those who are using CTGP or Sound and SDRM for those of us who are on Dolphin. Control C and Control V them to make sure you still have access to the original files. If you'd like, you can also preemptively go into the Revocart BRSAR and change the volume to the max level to ensure that its volume is going to be loud enough for you to hear clearly. Go ahead and save your changes and then open up the patch at BRSAR to ensure that the looping works correctly on Dolphin. the BRSAR patched, go ahead and make a new ISO file and ensure that everything works correctly. I'll go ahead and skip to me loading into the game. No. You can hear that the intro to the song is now playing, and it is working perfectly with the track. And as the audio picks up here, you can also see that there is no issues with the song having any kind of peaking. And most importantly, the audio stay present while going into the tunnel, which wouldn't happen using the normal method. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please leave a like and also maybe even subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.